Yes then YouTube we are back with another custom tactics video on the channel with a formation that I like to call the ultimate rat formation. But without any further ado, drop this video a like for me, drop a comment down below and if you can please hit that subscribe button to my channel, that would mean the world to me. So the formation is the 5-2-1-2. It is an amazing, amazing formation. Like I said, the ultimate rat formation. So without any further ado, let's get into the custom tactics. For your cheapest and most reliable place to buy your FC24 coins, check out mmoexp.com. Link is down in the description below. Use the code WOLF at the checkout for 5% off your order. Balanced on the defensive style, definitely YouTube. But because we are playing a five at the back, we can afford to be a little bit more aggressive with our defensive style if we want to do so. So, if you want to be a little bit more aggressive and be in your opponent's faces, I would recommend pressure on heavy touch. It's definitely good and 100% a viable option with the 5-2-1-2, especially with the counter pressing when we have the five at the back, but we actually play it like a three at the back. We can afford for that counter pressing to be very aggressive, but for me, I much prefer balanced. A balanced style where your team presses the ball to the middle of the pitch and your team shape is neutral. That's just what I prefer, YouTube. I do think it is better, but pressure on heavy touch is definitely good. The defensive width, we do go quite narrow in the 5-2-1-2. We go all the way down to 40 now. The reason being is because we are defending with a five at the back, I do want my left wing back and my right wing back to kind of tuck in nice and tight to my three centre backs. I've noticed when, if I'm not playing like a more higher width, if I'm not, if I am playing a higher defensive width, sorry, that sometimes there's a bit of a big gap between my left wing back and my right wing back in terms of the left side is centre back and the right side is centre back. So to counter that, we have gone a little bit more narrow. Really, really, really good and really effective with the 40 width. Good tackle there. Having the defensive width a little bit more narrow really does help with that. The defensive depth, we do have two options. I am sorry. Yes, YouTube. You could probably guess what the first option is that I use. It is, of course, your tried and trusted broken meta stupidly OP 71 depth. Yes, I hate it. But, well, I mean, I don't hate it. I love it. But I hate how broken an OP it is because it's kind of like a, a broken mechanic in the game that shouldn't be there. It's so... So, so OP. It's something that I really, really, really don't like. But it is really good and it is really effective. Beautiful there. With the 71 depth, winning the ball nice and high up the pitch. If any of you don't know what 71 depth does, when we lose the ball, our team will automatically press up the pitch and automatically offside trap. It's very, very, very broken. Like, way, way, way too broken. But if you don't want to use the 71 depth, I take my hat off to you. You are a legend. I would recommend 60 depth with the 5-2-1-2. Remember, because we have a 5 at the back, we can afford to be quite more aggressive than we would normally be with the defensive depth, which is why I'm using... Well, I mean, I'm not using, but it's why I would recommend 60 depth. But for me, of course, 71 depth. The offense, I'm not going to go into any detail. You can probably guess this part of the video already. Balance of diet passing. Let me know in the comment section down below, though, YouTube. Do you use anything else other than balanced diet passing? Because I've tried a lot of things. Long ball and balanced, I like it. Definitely something we could maybe use instead. But at this moment in time, balanced diet passing is your bread and butter. The offensive width, very boring actually, YouTube with this. I actually just leave it on 50. I don't touch it. I really like where my left wing back and my right wing back are in general. I kind of don't really feel the need to change that much at all. I kind of don't think it's necessary really. So because of that, I do just leave it on the 50 width. Players in the box though, of course, is going to be seven. More players in the box, the more goals we will score and the more likely we are to score a goal, especially when we are using a five at the back. We kind of need to have as many players as we can going forward because it is a five at the back formation, right? It's, it's amazing defensively anyway, but we need to get it right going forward. And having seven players in the box really does help with that. It kind of puts us in a really, really, really nice spot with it. The way I look at that is more players in the box, more goals we score, it works. Two corners and two free kicks like so. There the custom tactic done. Let's get into the player instructions. You can probably guess what the strikers are going to be on YouTube. They are on exactly the same thing as they are on all my custom tactics. But I would say in particular with the 5-2-1-2, it is needed quite a lot in my opinion. And that is stay central, 
and getting behind. I think it's so, so, so key, especially with the way that I play the 5-2-1-2. I really do want my strikers to stay in that central area of the pitch. I do not want them drifting out wide at all. Like, and I don't really want that, especially with what I have my left wing back and my right wing back on. They're getting behind as well. I want them to make runs in behind because then even if we don't play the ball to the strikers as they are making the runs in behind, it does then leave a nice big gap in the middle of the pitch for our cam to operate in and that brings us perfectly onto the cam you see what i did there you know very smooth the cam is on completely default settings apart from getting to the box for cross i really really want my cam to get into the box for cross youtube i want my cam to be kind of like a number 10 but almost like a shadow striker at the same time i want my cam to be in the box creating opportunities scoring goals in my opinion, by the way, the cam is the most important player in this formation. I think everything goes through the cam. It's kind of like when we play like a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow or a 4-3-1-2, which I'll have an updated video for you over the next few days with that formation as well, by the way. I kind of really do feel like we need our cam to be that star player. He or she, because it could be a she now on EAFC24, that person... Everything needs to go through that player, whether it's the assist, the goals, everything fundamentally goes through that player. So we need that player to be our best player. And having that player, well, having that player, having him on my team, Jack Grealish, on getting to the box for cross really does help with him scoring goals and stuff like that. Beautiful. The cam there, because he's on getting to the box for cross. He will make that run forward. Oh, he actually baited me with a keeper movement. Oh, my. This is where you need to use a little bit of your own initiative. So, the more attack-minded central midfielder, for me, is my left central midfielder. And that is my Robert Perez with my Villa Paston present. You're going to want to have that player on getting to the box for cross and cover center. Then the more defensive minus central midfielder, for me, my right centre mid and my Douglas Louise with my Villa team, stay back while attacking and cover centre. So, to start things off, your left centre midder, your left central midfielder, the more attack minded midfielder, that midfielder will get into the box for cross and cover the centre area of the pitch. I did experiment with having him on get forward, but I kind of didn't feel like it was necessary because he was on getting to the box for cross anyway. He would get forward and attack. Having him on get forward made zero difference. It only drained his stamina a little bit more. So, I kind of just leave him on the balance attack and get into the box for cross. The right centre midder is kind of like the Rodri role or the Bubakar Kamara role for my team, Aston Villa up the Villa. Come on, you Spurs. <laughs> what a result. Anyway, that player is kind of like the Rodri role. You don't want that player to really move. They kind of at players like a CDM or an anchor or like a halfback role or, or maybe even like a deep line playmaker, whatever you want to use that word but that player doesn't really move from that position. They get the ball and pass it to the more attack minded players. Very, very, very effective. Nice, Douglas Louise. This is then the most important aspect of the formation. The left wing back and the right wing back are both on join the attack and overlap. So they will both be making forward runs, getting right up next to our strikers, but in terms of like using the width. And is that, that's where the formation really comes, in, comes into its own because you'll have the left wing back bombing on, you'll have the right wing back bombing on, on the overlap. And that gives us the width because then we do have our three centre backs where we don't need... We don't need our wing backs to be on stay back while attacking or anything like that. And then last but not least, my goalkeeper is then on comes for crosses and sweeper keeper. So, playing instructions done. I am now going to show you quite a few games of me using the 5 2 1 2. Let's see if you enjoy it. Beautiful. There's that left centre midfielder again. Look, getting forward a little bit. Beautiful. That's a really good example of how this formation plays there. The left centre mid getting forward a little bit. Leon Bailey. Beautiful. That's a really good example of the 5 2 1 2 there. The left centre midfielder, because he is on getting through the box for cross and balance attack, he venture forwards a little bit, giving us a good passing option. And then, of course, the striker stay central and getting behind. Beautiful. Beautiful. Left centre mid. On getting to the box for cross again, it's so, so, so needed. I love that. You get the ball to the striker and the left centre mid is making like an underlapping run. It's beautiful. Then Robert Perez with a finesse. Perfect. Beautiful. The left centre mid are again. Look, making eyes. Oh, perfect. That's a perfect example. He moves the... Oh, he baited me again. Beautiful turn there from the camp. Lovely into the left central midfielder again with the left wing back overlapping. Beautiful ball. My defender, my opponent doesn't know what. Oh. 
There's that cam in the space again. Lovely ball to your striker. Oh, good save. Beautiful. From my cam. Oh, my opponent's keeper's on. I don't know what he's on. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. And my opponent is going to rage quit out of here. Bye-bye, mate. There's that left centre mid again. On getting to the box for cross. Just missed there with a shot. Good save. Beautiful. There's one of the wing backs on overlap and join the attack. Plays a beautiful little cutback. Oh, Bailey, what is that? Grealish. Oh. That's what I'm talking Oh, good block. But again, you see my cam there making that third man running behind. So, so, so important. Good tackle there. Beautiful overlap from the right wing back. Oh, Leon Bailey, what did you stop making your run for? Beautiful ball across. Grealish for the cutback in that. Again, I'm going to tell you, having the left centre middle and getting to the box for cross, perfection. That cutback is all about having the left centre middle and getting to the box for cross. Beautiful. Now that... Uh, that's just, that, that is just an unbelievable goal. The switch of play to the wing back. Uh, everything about that is exactly why the 5 2 1 2 is so, so, so broken. And that right there is the end of the video. If you did enjoy this video, please drop this video a like for me. <laughs> drop a comment down below. And if you can hit that subscribe button to my channel, that would mean the world to me. Thank you for watching. Remember, spread the love and positivity. PMA, positive mental attitude. Peace out. One love.